Arnold wins the Arnold Classic. Imagine. 77 years old. <laughs> He's the only competitor. He just runs yeah. a show again. Yeah. He guest posts at his own show. It's like the at a kid's birth, like a spoiled kid's birthday party where they do awards and he wins everything. And most muscular, Arnold. And best poser, Arnold. Yeah, every single <laughs> award goes to him. And it's yeah. like it's like the meme where Obama puts the medal on himself. <laughs> yeah. It's like, mm, yes, I earned this. I paid for all of this. <laughs> but the reason for bringing up Arnold is because the Arnold Classic is officially over. Um, it's been a week since it's been over, but figured we'd go over the results and talk about them like we did our last episode. So yeah, since um, since uh, last weekend, um, men's physique and men's open has uh, been uh, judged and their results. Um, and, I think and that wheelchair. Yes, that is true. That is true. I think that um, the results are not surprising at all. I think uh, the men's open was well deserved, in my opinion. Uh, men's physique is kind of controversial. Uh, a lot of guys in the industry think that somebody else should have won. Um, but personally, I think that the guy who won earned it. But We'll talk about that. So, with that being said, first place in um, Arnold Classic was Hadi Chupin. So he ended up, uh, you know, he got second in the Olympia, got first at the Arnold, um, and that's great. I think he deserved it this year for sure. I think Hadi's great, but when I was looking at the early shots of Samson. I was thinking it's going to be real hard to beat him because he came in real good this time. Yeah. Um, so, personally, I think it's either or. I don't think anybody else beats them. Like, no one else in the top five, six, seven was anywhere near them. But um, I I do think it could have gone either way. I was leaning towards Samson, but again, obviously not a not a <laughs> IFBB judge. Yeah, I was leaning towards uh, Hadi just for his conditioning. Um, I'm just also not a fan of Samson's structure. Mm. Um, I just don't really like, his, especially his midsection. I just really like his midsection. Um, but that's just me personally. Like especially his vacuum. I just it just to me it just looks odd. But yeah. he does have a crazy like V shape. His obliques are huge. Um, which is kind of a downside, but. He's got a crazy V shape. It just looks insane. But seeing Hottie, like Hottie, like people. All right. So like, all right, here, let me share the screen. Let's just start with that. All right. So here's, here's Samson, right? So pretty large obliques right here. You can see that. See how his like board trunk, board shorts or whatever, his trunks come in right here. So he's got pretty large obliques. And then it's his vacuum for me that I'm not the biggest fan of. It's he's got crazy ab insertions, but they flatten out in his vacuum, and that's not personally. I'm not the biggest fan. Legs right here, great side chest. Let's see. I think Hadi ultimately won it from the back. I believe from what I remember, but look at his back, fucking crazy. Look at, look at that. I was gonna say too. Look at the hamstrings just popping out there. Yeah, he's got solid hamstrings. Calves looking pretty good. Yeah, his back is crazy symmetrical. He's got a great back. That's like the perfect amount of lean from our conversation uh, last week. What do you mean? We we're talking oh, about oh, how yeah, far to yeah, lean back on your... yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing... Why are you not... Allow me to rewind. The only thing like I think that he could benefit from is if he, if he could figure out how to like, like consciously pop his lower lats out just to give his lats like a bit more shape down here because like you could see right where the lower lats end but yeah. besides that yeah that's like the perfect lean you know like down here and you can see him. for for context the perfect lean you don't think he's leaning but he is that's that's what we mean by the perfect yeah. amount of lean you don't want it to be like wow this guy's standing straight up and you don't want him to be like leaning you don't want to be leaning too far back yeah um you know, solid rear lat spread arms looking pretty lean legs looking pretty lean 
Um, That's a Gilco, great pose did, right there. I do think edited the sharpness on this. Like, you, like look at the graininess of his legs, but then look at his upper body. It's probably hard to tell looking at my video through the uh, no. record sharpness a bit. Um, but yeah, he looks pretty nuts. But then, so like everybody's like saying, how could you be truthfully, you know, truthful that this guy, you know, lost and, um, you know, definitely better than Hottie, stuff like that. But now let's look at Hottie. Holy shit, dude is lean. <laughs> like, look at that. Like, dude is lean as shit, man. Not, I mean, that's, his, that's you know, pretty good. are huge, but. He's got he's super lean in the front, especially. He's a lot leaner in the front. You can see ab veins. You can't see any ab veins on Samson. Arnold taking a selfie. <laughs> yeah, right there. You can see him in the video. <laughs> well, his camera just went in front if you go back like a second. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh his yeah, whole... there it is. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but yeah, he looks crazy. I wish that paused. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Like, dude looks That's insane. pretty nuts. Yeah, that's why I think that he won. Like, yeah, Samson's probably, like, bigger. Maybe his overall structure might be a little bit better. Like, his waist is narrower. But, like, you can't beat how lean this guy is. Like, this dude is dice to the gills. Hottie always shouts at the crowd, too. And I think it really, like, electrifies the place. Yeah. Like, you know how some people will be, like, you know, they'll raise their hands or whatever to try and get people going. Hottie just shouts at them. <laughs> yeah. Wake up! Respect me! <laughs> Oh, uh, was oh, uh, Mad Max just witness me before he goes chrome with the with the paint or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look at his legs. Like his legs look super lean. Like Hottie totally just won just based off condition. Keep, keep it paused um, on the back lat. I was gonna say right there. That's a full lat spread, and he can still like you see the the tension point on his lower back. Like you could still stick, like you know, we talk about holding a pen in your oh yeah, from your right back here. pump. He's oh, spreading, yeah. and he still has that <laughs> right here. Yeah, like that's nuts. Most people would like sure you can kind of manipulate your back if you roll your sh like shoulders back, but can you do that on a lat spread? <laughs> yeah, that's just crazy. He's spreading it out, and he could still fit it. That, his, yeah, that's... his lats are fucking touching. And yeah, he's spreading them out <laughs> like. They are literally touching from side to side over his spine, and he's purposely stretching them out. Yeah. That's insane. That's like, I don't know, like, that's the best representation of how big these motherfuckers are. Um, yeah. But I do think Samson's back is overall leaner. Like, I, I love Samson's, like, like, the look of his back. It looks a lot better, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Than Hotties. But where is the, does he do a rear double? I have but, not seen it yet. Yeah. And then he goes right into a rear lat spread. And then, yeah, pretty lean Hits back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hadi's... Okay, now it's not so bad. Okay, Hadi's lat insertions are higher. That's why you see his lower lats up here. Um, I do think that Samson's back was uh, better, I think, like conditioning-wise. I think just Hottie just holds a lot of his fat in his back. There's a lot of guys that are like that. Um, so I think that whatever fat and water he had was just in his back because the rest of him is insane. Like, look at his, watch his rear lat spread. Watch his arms, ready? Watch his arms. Yeah. Like, fucking, you, Wild. what is that? They're like croissants. <laughs> Triceps, baby. <laughs> Croissant. I was going to say, it almost... With a croissant. It, I didn't want to mention it earlier, but it almost looks like if you, like, you know how if you have something on your skin for a while and then you take it off, like, attention, like, let's say there's a ring or, like, a maybe, like, string or something that it, like, leaves a mark on your skin. That's kind of what yeah. I get, at least from his right tricep. His left one, not really, but his right one, you could see just his vein looking like it's just, a like, a tension line. Yeah, it's like... uh it's almost like uh, his arms look like they're like in water for a while. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, his arms look crazy there. Rear double looks pretty good. So Arnold the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it's still recording. Yeah. Side tricep. That's a wild solid. pose. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, he looks great. Um, look at these people. What are these people saying to him? Crying, laughing faces. Samsung. Re oh, okay, that's a bad translation. Um, yeah, bigger doesn't mean better. We should not be re rewarding that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is the best uh, in history. Better than uh, shut up, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did this dude just say he's the best bodybuilder in history? Better than Olympian? What? Better than the <laughs> statues built in Greece. <laughs> yeah, better than Zeus himself. <laughs> He'll strike you down. It, that for, the late the English don't make sense. He's saying better than the Olympia, but I think I think he's saying what this guy is saying. I think he's saying that this is the best body that Hottie has brought. Like this is the best package that Hottie's brought. Look, yeah, yeah look at the, the look at the one from Jeet. No, no, no. Scroll down. Uh... Okay, jeez. Um, there you go. Yeah, it is bloody best. Yeah, but it talks um, about Hani. And brought the wolf with the vengeance. Yeah, Honey Rambod, yeah. Yeah, because uh, Hani Ram Rambod uh, is his coach, and Hani also owns Evo Gen, which is uh, Hani's main sponsor, I believe. Yeah. But yeah, I do. If that guy is saying that this is his best physique, I do think that he has brought his best look so far. Yeah. I think that he, he probably would have won or even had a better chance at winning if he brought this to the Olympia. I Absolutely. think. Absolutely. Like it was very much a toss up at the Olympia, but he came in with, the, if he came in with this conditioning, it's like, fuck man, I probably would have given it to Toddy. A <laughs> lot of people gave Toddy last year anyways. So who knows what could have happened. Just a little bit of conditioning more. Like, like look at his legs. Like his legs, I feel like, I'm not the, like, it's, okay, it's the, insertions are low for some reason. Like, you got all this space up here. If his insertions are a little bit higher, like, his legs would be fucking See, perfect. My thing, and this is why I love watching men's open and men's classic physique, and honestly, men's physique is getting there now, too. But I, I would love to have the ability to have my legs chafed just from standing still and, like, walking oh, because yeah. of how big your quads and hamstrings in the back are like pushing together like that's the yeah. dream right there <laughs> yeah you've seen those guys walk like in if you ever watch like generation iron there's a clip from i think the third one with kai green that he's just like walking down the street in like sweatpants and like everything above his knees are just like rubbing but it's like he's still walking with his legs spread out it's just his well, quads and his hams and all that are so big they rub that's you know? also why like the i mean the the lat uh, uh, lat raise type stuff. Uh, what's it called? Invisible lat syndrome. That's that's part mm -hmm. of the joke for why people, huh. why yeah. bodybuilders can't go through doors and whatnot. But it's I, it's also because of the you know the legs because they're just so wide there. Yes, yeah, <laughs> you like have to do like do that waddle. <laughs> yeah, as you grow your legs, you have to kind of spread out your feet a little bit. But some dudes do do it on purpose, and it ends up being like a bit much. But yeah, no, I totally like that as a goal. Yeah, it just looks fucking crazy. I love, like, I, I, I love the lighting at the Arnold. This, but this is by far my favorite lighting. Yeah, they crushed the lighting this year. Yeah, he looks great. Like, look at his fucking obliques yeah. right here. Like, that's insane. Like, you could like that's like a you could like play the xylophone on that, right? And yeah, nothing too like, like with his abs and obliques, you don't expect that that like, insane level of definition from men's open. Like, yes, you can see ab structures and you know definition, but that's a shreddedness that you don't see at men's open level. Not you often. Know? No, not yeah. often. This is this is the top of the top. This is the, as good as it gets, basically. Like I mean, even I, think I, like. Think back to like Ronnie, who was you know we we consider him arguably the greatest. His you know ab oblique combo doesn't look like that. <laughs> I would argue one of the most lean guys on stage I was in men's open was Dorian Yates. Um, yeah, let me share this. So, um, it's kind of blurry. Well, that's... He, trying to find, like, it was a little, little older. <laughs> yeah, like, he is... 
so fucking lean. He was talking about on a podcast recently that, uh, I mean, that's still kind of on the bigger side of the key stage already there. He was talking about how... There it is. Um, yeah, there's one of them. Um, where is the death phase? So, like, he would scare people because of his face. Like, he was so lean, it looked like he was just, like, a skull. Um, so, like, people would look at his face, like, just because he looked so free, like, his face alone. Like, he could be wearing, like, the baggiest clothes. People would just be looking at his face because, like, it's, uh, like, just like a skull, right? Um, yeah. And then he also talked about how, like, his feet would hurt at shows, right? And people are like, oh, did you, like, get an injury? Why are you, why are you uh, like, limping around? And come to find out, supposedly, this is what he says. I don't know if it's true. Supposedly, he got so lean that um, the fat underneath his feet that cushions your walking it was actually mm-hmm. getting stripped away. So, like, he was walking, like, directly on his, like, bones and muscle underneath his feet. Like, on which is awful. Feet. <laughs> yeah, which is painful. So, like, that's how lean this guy got. Um, how true that is, I'm not sure, just because, like, nobody else talks about that. And I feel like there's probably been some le- leaner people over time, like, especially, like, classic physique. And, and even at this point, like, men's physique, I would say, has, sometimes can be very, very, very lean. Um, but then... <laughs> You got Ronnie Coleman, who a lot of people argue is like one of the leanest guys ever, too. Yep. You know, that's the thing with Ronnie was that he was like the biggest and also the leanest. Like, dude was insane looking on stage. I mean, I'm not that like, I will always argue that like Ronnie Coleman was, was and is and will always be one of the best bodybuilders of all time. But man, do I fucking hate his midsection. It's not something his, he can the the ab break right in the middle. <laughs> it's not it's just the shape of his abs in general. Like, don't get me wrong, like it, he looks absolutely crazy. But it just I just if he had a bit more symmetrical or physically appealing abs, he would like he would be my favorite of all time. I just personally I can't put him there, you know? Um, no. for me, just because of that, like I would put personally, I think that Jay Cutler had a more appealing physique than, um, than Ronnie did. There's That's an argument to be personally. made there. Yeah. Um, I could see why somebody would vote Ronnie, but personally, I think when all said and done, I think that Jay had a better looking physique. I also think that, you know, there are some areas that Jay could have used for improvement and all that to beat Ronnie sooner, but um yeah, see they're both lean as shit. That's just my opinion though. So back to the Olympia, right? So nope. um Arnold Classic. Sorry, Arnold Classic, not the Olympia, my bad. Um third place was Raphael Brandau. He came in really good this year. He um he started off in I think like 212 or something and he like worked his way up um he's been on and off for the past few years but he looks he, he looks a little good. smaller than than the than the other guys out yeah there. that's his biggest issue i think it's just size overall it's not really conditioning like he comes in pretty conditioned as you can tell um, it's his legs his legs just aren't at the same size like his upper body could compete but his legs just aren't at the same size yeah, his legs could use some more size, I think. Um, I also think that like his chest could probably use some more size. Um, he has a very appealing physique, but yeah, his legs I think are one of his biggest downfalls. Um, yeah, like that's mainly... why, like Gilko's getting the the angle, and but he's doing like quarter, like right there he's head on, but like the previous like two or three poses was like quarter turn to hide his his lack of leg size. Well, I mean, even the, at the, in the, I think it was the side chest that he did. The side chest, his legs look smaller here. You could tell. Like, he doesn't have as much of a drop in his hamstrings. And his, his quad sweep just gives off, like, probably because of conditioning, gives off a little bit less size. Um, if he was a little more conditioned in his legs, they would look bigger than they are, than they are currently. Um, yeah. Not bad from here. The abs are pretty lead. Maybe a tad bit of size there in that pose, but um, it's really the side chest, I think, is where his legs kind of stick out as, like, 
like an issue. Same with the quarter turn right here. The side tricep. Yeah, you can kind of tell, like, he looks really good. Conditioning's really good, but, yeah, his hamstrings could use some work, especially. Like, that's probably one of his weaknesses. Chest a bit, probably. Again, guys, yeah. we are also, like, not experts here. We're just, <laughs> this is what, this is comparing and contrasting against the best of the best. We're not judges. Was, it's just, like, from what we can tell. I was going to say, put this guy up against any person walking on the street, and it's not even a debate. Like, Dude, put him up against any pro show, and he's winning every single fucking pro show. Yeah. Like, this is the second best show in the in the country, or in the world, each year. You put him up against any other pro on a pro show, and he's winning. You know? You got third. The only people yeah. he's not beating right now is Samson and Hottie. That's the only person he didn't, the only two people he didn't beat that day. You put him up against anybody else, he'd beat them. Yeah. You know? So, that's something to keep in mind. The midsection... It's just the separation. There's no there's no line down his abs. Like you can't it's just like one across, you know? Yeah. Um it's probably just structure overall. Yeah. I think his like obliques could have used some more conditioning. Like you could see um uh, where's a good pose for it? Yeah, did he see, even like, right hit here. the uh did he even hit the Arnold pose? <laughs> I don't I didn't so. see it. No. Uh. Um, but yeah, so like right here, his obliques could have used some more uh, conditioning. Um, yeah, I think he's overall more conditioning and a bit more size. And he's there. Um, so that's third. I wish I could show you guys fifth because I think I think um, James Holland's head look looks fucking crazy. This isn't him. I think this is uh, Dorian Hamilton. Who did, what did he get? He didn't place top six. This is a top six. Yeah. But he still looks um, crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I just wish, like... Let me see. I'll probably search him up. Let's see. Yeah, see, I think this guy looked crazy. He's from England. This guy's a beast. His problem every year is that he always looks more conditioned in videos and photos before the show than he does at the shows. Yeah. Like, that's his problem. Um, but, yeah, I think there's no video on Gilco of, of James, but he always comes in super conditioned. Um, I really like his look a lot. Um, I, where he lost, I'm not sure. Like, why he got the placing he got, because he got fifth. Why he got fifth, I couldn't tell you. Because, personally, I think I'd have him over... Like, maybe his arms could use a tad more size, like, from just the most muscular right here. But, like, him against Raphael, I'd probably put James ahead of him. Yeah. But there's also not a ton. We don't have, like, an actual posing video like you did with, with Raphael. Possible his legs, maybe. Maybe his chest. I'm not sure. Why is that all women? <laughs> is he? Did he post this? He did not post this. I think I just, like, Googled it. All right. Back to it. Um, so now, I guess you can just move on to men's physique. Um, so men's physique, uh, a few known names, uh, Diago Montenegro, um, Victor Chavez, Kieran Holden, Corey Morris, Emmanuel Hunter, um, which actually a few of them I'm seeing today at the uh, seminar. I want to say Corey Morris is going to be there. I believe Emmanuel Hunter is going to be there. Um, and then a smattering of other Olympia competitors. Real so, quick, too, before you get into that, before you scroll down, yeah. too. Um, tell me, uh, scroll up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tell me you're not confident in your in your uh, in your face, other than wearing a predator mask out <laughs> on. <laughs> well, that's a yeah. It's entertainment. They have to entertain. In no, I know, fitness? but still, <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah, Miss Fitness. It yeah, it's uh, uh, women's fitness is what this is, which makes sense. I mean, if you think about it, it's called fitness. It's not called. That's a wild pose. That's an anime pose. That was, and she's lean too. Like they have to yeah. come in conditioned. You know, like that is crazy. Like she's shaking I just up, but I newfound yeah. respect. Yeah, they're like acrobats, man. They do all these like spins and, and dances and shit. 
a lot of them build their own costumes and whatnot too. Yeah. Like that. That's, that's, <laughs> I don't know many people who can do that one, but yeah, continuing, uh, you're going to be seeing a bunch of the, the men's physiques Rich. guys. Did she end up winning? It's possible. Yeah, I think she ended up winning. At least the at least the entertainment portion. Oh no, okay, yeah. Three times fitness champion speech with her. Um Ariel Kadir. I don't know. Yeah, she Maybe. won. Yeah, this is her look for women's fitness. So this is the actual like bodybuilding portion of it where they pose. So. She looks entirely different. <laughs> Yeah, it's so like the difference I think between fitness and like wellness is it's like size might be a tad bit bigger, but it's less about legs and it's more about like overall upper body and lower body structure. Um, where like with women's wellness, it's like more about legs and femininity and stuff like that. So you got like, uh, like here's women's uh, like it's a, a like. Yeah, see, so, like, look at, like, the glute push out right here alone. You know, like, like that stands out. That Women's fitness doesn't do that. Yeah. Um, it's a lot more about legs. Anyways, with that being said, um, so the winners of this year's men's physique uh, was Diago Montenegro, which is this fella right here. Um, let me see if we can find him. I did see the, uh, the – there, someone posted uh, – not many men can say they've ever cried on Arnold's shoulder, and uh, this guy's one of them because when he got his uh, award from Arnold, he just broke mm. down. That's a much wider stance than I've than I normally see. Yeah, it's it's the new thing guys are doing now because of fucking Ryan Terry. His fucking legs just bother me, man. Overall structure, upper body looks good. It's just legs are just not there. But stuff legs like aren't this, like, judged as much, though. That's that's kind of and yeah. It does they fill, you gotta fill out the board shorts. Yeah, in quotations, he fills them out, but they're so fucking tiny. Anyone's gonna fill them out. Hmm. Um, it, but that's just my opinion. I think his legs should be bigger. I don't think there's any excuse to not have them any bigger. But that's just me. Um, yeah. So he ended up winning. He just came in super conditioned, is what it is. I think a lot of people argue that he should have lost. Um to Kyron, who got fourth, um, which is this guy right here. That's I like nice Kyron's guy. look. Yeah, I like his look a lot. Like, I like his structure. Look at his abs. His Holy posing moly. Could work. His posing could be better. He Maybe, yeah. never stops fucking moving. That's my problem. And his abs do look crazy. Um, the lean. He doesn't need to lean when he's doing a back one. All right, I guess he... And he's doing, like, almost some... Like uh, men's classic physique yeah, transitions, yeah, kinda. Um, he was a classic competitor, um, but then he he moved to men's physique to do better. Basically, he was getting. Yeah. I from from what I think I heard, um, he was just getting demolished, um, and uh, he just moved down to the men's physique. But like, this is actually like how men's physique is supposed <laughs> to pose. Like, look, look so, at the. Look at the comment. It says, you let men's physique get too big, bro. <laughs> yeah, his upper body is pretty crazy. Um, his legs I just drive me nuts. But again, that's just my own personal opinion. Like, like when I was wearing my board shorts on stage, like, you could see the outline of my glutes. Like, you should be able to, like, stretch yeah. out your board shorts from every angle. Like, and he got these tailored. You see how it says, like, true wear, kind of? Yep. It's supposed to say chula wear. So he got them tailored. Um, to fit his waist better, um, so there's and really even, no reason for even still they're too big waist wise. You can see like a little bit of a gap. Yeah, a tad, a tad bit, but that's okay. I don't know what's up with that leg thing. I don't really like that. Um, yeah, see his legs from the front are a lot better, but I think he just, I think it's just overall conditioning is where he needs the help. Like his arms are a bit less conditioned, his chest. His abs are always insane. He always has really good uh, midsection. Um, but I think it's really just like his chest and his arms that really need the conditioning. Uh, so I, I could see why Di uh, Diago won. Um, yeah, that's Kyron. Um, is this is this Victor? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, is Victor. Victor Chavez. Yeah, see, this is his legs are much more like it. Look at his legs. 
That's much more like it. Like this leg, his 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 left leg is stretched out, so it doesn't look as big. <laughs> like, look at his right leg, dude. Fucking crazy. Like, look at his calf. Yeah. That's how it should be. Look at that. What the fuck? See, that's much more like it. Glutes could use some work, but his actual yeah. legs right here, his calves are fucking solid. Um, but yeah, so his conditioning, I think, is better than than Kyron's. Uh, yeah, so th this is uh, Victor Chavez. Yeah, I think overall his conditioning he, was a bit better. You said he got fourth? Uh, third. Kyron got fourth. Third. This guy got third. This is Victor Chavez. Uh, he got third. Um, that's Diago. That's Emmanuel. Uh, I don't see any more. Okay, let's see what, who we got here. Mahmoud. Okay, this is Mahmoud. Yeah, he didn't place top six. Um, this guy looks fucking crazy. Andreas Remote. Emmanuel Costa Pro. Um, Emmanuel Costa. This guy's this guy's coming up. He's he's up on the up and up. Um, I think he's starting to place better. The guy who got second is just a wild name. <laughs> yeah, Vinicius Mateus Vieira Lima. Yeah. Um I don't know. This guy fills out his shorts pretty well. Yes, he does, I agree. His legs are pretty pretty solid. And there's glute. Dark yeah, I was gonna say you can see glute lines. Yeah, see that's a, this is a lot more like it. This is how it should be. Like you should you should be stretching out your board shorts in basically every angle, right? Like your glutes should be stretching them out, your hams, your quads, they should be stretching them out. Yeah. Can't fucking stay. It's just it's just laziness because it's like like I'm filling out my board shorts and I'm just doing one leg day a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's just laziness, I think. You don't need the biggest legs. You just need to fill them out. That's all. Yeah. This ain't him, is it? No, this is Israel Martinez. I don't fucking know where he is. I gotta Google him now. Because I can't find him. One second, let me Google him. I love the captions that Gilco puts on all of them. It's like, if you just read the caption and not the placing, you would have thought every person won. <laughs> yeah, basically. He always hypes him up a bit. Come on. I know you guys just see my mouse moving around, but it's I'm on a different tab. Yeah. There we go. All right. So I get I think this is the guy who got second. Yeah, he looks really good. Yeah. This guy Indian? Might be Spanish. Good for him. I mean with with that, that name with that name I would have thought Spanish, like from Spain, you know, Venetia or not Spain, I'm sorry, uh Rome. <laughs> oh, like Italian? Yeah, yeah actually, Venetius, he might be Matthias Italian. Viria Lima. Like that sounds like, like you're you're yeah. deep in the church at that point. Yeah, I can see that. Um, legs are looking solid for him. Filling out the board shorts for sure. Conditioning is solid as well. I mean, I can see why Diago won. I'm just not the biggest fan. See, this is also the poison I can't stand. I get, I get stretching out the back like this. But it's like you're. This is called handlebars. These are called handlebars. When you do it, you're you're. It's like you're riding a chopper. You know, you're riding a Harley. It's yeah. like what they say about this. And this is not the original idea. Judges, um, I believe, uh, last seminar I went to Steve Weinberger, and he said something about that. And they were just talking about like all the ministry guys were just like, stop doing it. Like you, you're not supposed to do it. It's become this new thing for whatever reason. So why are we doing it, you know? Um, yeah. And it, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I mean, Diago did it. This guy did it. So it's it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get any better. But um, what's it called? But uh, Kyron did it properly. He did it how you're supposed to do it. Um, let me show you again. Let me... So here's Kyron. Yeah. See, I think the only thing he could have done a little bit was just spread his hands out just a little bit. Like bring his main so like his hands here right i think just moving it a little bit to the left just like more like straight on kind of make yeah. like a little wider angle here 
um, would have done him a little bit better, but like not way the fuck out here that like these guys are doing now. Um, so I respect that, which is good. Um, and then this is Emmanuel. He's on the team that I'm on. Um, I'll be seeing him later on today. He's on the up and up as well. He's been he's been crushing it lately. He got I think top six at the Olympia as well, top six at the Arnold. And this is only like like he's still like pretty fresh into like competing at this level. Like this isn't like he's been doing. How this old forever. is he? Do you know? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Because if um, he's still like mid twenties or so, then he's uh he's gonna be there for a long time. I don't think he's mid twenties. A lot of the men's physique guys are on the older side usually, um, like later twenties, early thirties is like m- almost all men's physique guys. Uh, very yeah. seldom are men's physique guys younger. Um, it's the classic classic physique are the ones that you see that are like dumb young. Um, men's open and men's physique are typically older. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it says two times Olympian. So this this is. You know, he did 2022, 2023 Olympia, and then obviously the Arnold and all that. So he, uh, yeah, see, Unchained Physiques represent. Um, hmm. But yeah, he has only competed really super seriously, like at this level for a few years. So like he still has a lot of work to do and a lot of time to accomplish it, right? So like this yeah. is his Olympia, I believe, here. Nope, Arnold. You can see him in the Arnold statue in the background. Oh. Whoops. When he posted this two weeks ago? Oh. Might be it's last year's. the previous Arnold. Yeah. Yeah, he does look he does look better this this year than he did last year. Um The baseball yeah, jersey to the is. gym. <laughs> Where was that? Oh yeah, right here. Uh, it's, yeah. Lift tech. Yeah, I do. Oh he oh he's crazy. in baseball pants too. Uh no, not really in mine. Those are sweatpants. <laughs> Yeah, he looks crazy. Here, his arms look super fucking lean. But that's the problem is like a lot of time you end up leaner. Like, I mean, he he came in pretty much as conditioned as he did in that video. Like his chest, like his veins in his chest are what I strive for. Like that's what I want. You know, like the the veins on the middle right here, like that's crazy looking. Um, I think just like as far as how he can improve – I mean, my guess is maybe back thickness. His posing is also crooked. See how crooked it is? Mm. Um, that probably he, would play a bigger role. This also isn't really judged on, but his shorts go a little longer than everyone else's. Like that looks like a nine inch inseam or something like that. Um, so Could be. maybe, and again, not judge at all. I'm just thinking of what the everyone else wore for the look. Um, like you can't even mm-hmm. see the the quad drop. Like, yeah, they are. They do look a bit longer, but he also has them. I think hiked up a bit more as well. Um, yeah. So, with that being said, yeah, I think his back is probably where he lost the most points. Um, it's crooked. So, like, look at his, uh, you know, terrace major minors, rhomboids, and all that pushing out. They're completely different looks on each side. You know, so, um, yeah. See, his back can. Uh, lacked a bit of conditioning, add size on his legs. They don't judge legs. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they could all use size on their legs. Yeah, but that's that's why with men's physique, we always preface like we'll talk about legs, but it's not what's really judged on. Yeah. See, this guy's saying almost new shorts will be nice. Like he's saying that he probably would have placed better if he had better shorts. Yeah, it's possible. I just I don't know. I, I like the direction it's going in with with bigger legs, but. Um, I also don't think that like we should be saying that men's physique needs better legs to 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 compete better. Like I don't think you should win because your legs are bigger than somebody else's. But I do think that filling out your board shorts should be a requirement, and you should get docked points for it. Yeah. Um, you don't need big legs to do that. That's the thing. You just need yeah, I mean, legs in general. And honestly, if you are lacking in legs you can get shorts tailored to make them look better like the def- the colorway or how they're made like and they'll pop mm-hmm. whatever like i've got two different pairs of, of swim trunks like not for posing or anything just swim trunks one is you know they they cover but then another one like makes me look real good from the waist down legwise so like mm-hmm. all you need is just a good cut pair of shorts 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, I agree. I think that like his shorts don't look tailored. You can see the Chula wear the whole logo, which is fine. Mine weren't tailored. I didn't need to get mine tailored. The waist fit perfectly. Everything fit, fit perfectly. They're pretty tight, but it, it fit. So I didn't get it tailored, but um, I mean, he fills them out for the most part. You can see the outline of his glutes and all that. So like it's decent. It's just like, yeah, I think they're just too long. I think you're right. I think you kind of hit the nail on the head in the beginning. I think they're a couple inches long. Yeah. Uh, so they look a little baggy because of that. He has great transitions, though. Yeah, he keeps, um, he does the fucking, like, there's so many, there's, there's so many, like, um, bad habits with men's physique posing, I should say, like, bad habits. And one of them is moving your arms a lot. The other one is, like, readjusting to the same position. So, like, that's a little different. He put his arm up to this side. Watch. Gets in it. Flexes again, gets back in it. Yeah. Well, it might have been you just know, like, like how his ab, he like didn't like how his abs felt or how his like arms felt in the position. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. I just it's just a bad habit, I think. But um, let me see. Did we show Corey Morris? I think so. I'll show you guys Corey Morris. Corey Morris is one of the guys that needs to. Um, a lot of guys say that needs to lose size in order to to do better. Who is this? Okay, same guy, Dorian Hamilton. Too much, too much. Yeah. Um, yeah here we go, Maurice. Morris, Corey Morris. Um, was this from the other day? Uh, it's the Olympia right there. No, yeah. I think I remember us talking about him from the Olympia. Yeah, he didn't post his... That's the Olympia. That's the Olympia. He does a lot of modeling. <laughs> He didn't even post his um, Arnold. Weird. Jimmy Buendia, I believe. Who's, uh, I want to say, on Unchained now. I believe. That's kind of cool. And I want to say he'll be there later today, too. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, next week have to have you debrief about it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so like he's one of the guys that like, yeah, this isn't the Arnold. This is a previous Olympia or maybe a previous pro show, I think. But um, yeah, he's one of the guys that people are like, you need to lose some size. I think it's mainly just like his arms that need to really be downsized a bit. He's got really big arms. Um, and then his chest, he downs he has downsized his chest, I believe. So that's a good thing, but like his arms and his delts are just typically like on the really big side for men's physique, so he needs to tone it back a bit there. Um, it's not as bad as other competitors, but at least for him, I think um, he would benefit from downsizing it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's the Arnold Classic this year. I think uh, overall, a little little controversial in in. Uh, each one really, I think a lot of a lot of people top two in each um division for men's was kind of a toss up. Um a lot of people disagree with first in each of the divisions, but I think ultimately all the right decisions were made. So I do appreciate that. Like I'm not upset about any of it. I could see why they all won. Especially when you actually look at all the competitors, you're like, All right, now I can see. <laughs> you just look at the one or you just like look at you just look at um uh, Samson, and you're like, wow, why do you not win this bullshit? But then you like look at Hadi, and then you look at yeah. like top five. You're like, okay, now I see why Samson got second and why Hadi got first. You know, all checks out, right? So, and that's the thing about bodybuilding too, especially from at the pro level and like the best pro level, where any person will see a picture and be like, that person deserves to win everything in the world, and then you compare them against every other person that's up there, and it's like. We've got a conversation that needs to be had, and that's why what the yeah. judging panel is three guys, five guys. It's it's some it's odd usually number. like seven. Yeah, it's like seven people usually. But that's like my that. point. I, it's I, like I wouldn't be surprised if it's more people. <laughs> yeah, um, and like I want to say, who was it? Someone lost by like a point um, somewhere. It might have been Manuel. I'm not sure. Um, someone lost by a point at the Olympia uh, at the Arnold, I think. Um, and it was just like devastating because it's like he was right there. Yeah, the point, one point. In, the points, 
the point scaling guys, by the way, is like, it's kind of like golf where like they put you, so like the judges would be like, okay, I think that this guy's first, so you get one point, right? So the lower the points, the the better you place because that's closer to first than, the, the lower the points, the closer to first you are to the judges. So if you have five judges and you got to score five, that means every single judge thinks that you should have gotten first, right? Like that's yeah. what they all think. And they all judge independently, right? So like they all judge on their own and then they compile the scores and then that's what happens. So when you say a guy lost by a point, that means like, let's say like, you know, there's five judges. Um, five of the judges think that um, one guy should have gotten fifth. So four judges think he, somebody should have gotten fifth. One judge think that he should have gotten sixth. Um, that's that's losing by a point, right? Um, where, or no, no, the other way around, sorry. So it'd be like two guys thinking that you got fifth, three guys thinking you got sixth. And then the other way around is the guy who beat you, two guys thinks he gets sixth, three guys thinks he gets fifth. So that ends up being what? Um, 28 to 29, I think, something yeah. like that. Um, 6, 12, 18. Yeah, 28 to um, 27. 28 to 27 is what that ends up being. So you lose by point because you're a toss up, but one judge felt that you should have been back one place versus somebody else. That's losing by a point. Um, but most of the time, I want to look up what are the scorecards actually, real quick. We'll just pull that up and then we'll probably call it. Um, let me see. Let's see. Pro Day 2 scorecards. Um. All right. So Hadi Chupin got five. Yeah, he got, so he got five points. Yep. All five of the judges. Okay. So I thought it was seven judges. It's five at the uh, at the Arnold. Maybe it's seven at the Olympia. Um. Maybe it's five. I don't know. But yeah, five felt that he should have gotten um first. All five, and then all five thought that Samson should have gotten second. Mm -hmm. That's how that comes out. Um. Akeem Williams got. 35 points for um, pre-judging and then 20 points in finals. That's wild. So he placed higher in finals than he did in judging. So he ended up getting 55 total points. So basically it's like, I'll share it super fast so you guys can see it. Let's see. So like basically um, you got Heidi Troop in here, right? 5, 5, 10. So you got first. 10, 10, 20. You got second. But like, look at Akeem Williams, 35, 20. So you got 55 points, which makes him sixth. Uh, seventh is 65. So like James Hollings had 23 and then 30. So he came in worse in the finals than he did in the prejudging. So he got 53. So he beat Akeem Williams by two points. So he got fifth. Right, I wonder so what's this wild. Is the, this is the placement. <laughs> yeah. You see number 10, uh, Muhammad Shaban El, El Bobby. Uh Yeah. We, uh, <clears throat> this had to be maybe not this year's Olympia, but last year's Olympia. He, we were like, just for, for shits and giggles, looked at like the, the bottom placings of, you know, it goes to like 16 and then everybody places 16th or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. he was one of them and here he is making a, oh, making an improvement, nice. getting to, getting to 10. It's funny. I didn't, yeah. I, Name would never have popped up in my memory anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Good for him. The um, the guy we were seeing posing earlier, uh, I forget his name. Um, the guy who didn't play top five or whatever in the GoCo Productions video we saw earlier. White guy, I forget his name. He's not even in top ten. Yeah. So um, they only show top ten, I guess, in the scorecard. Um, and then, like, uh, men's physique, here we go. We got... Um, this is more of a toss up in some of them. So total, so there is no difference in prejudging and finals. So you got five for Diago, so it's unanimous. Um, but then second, you got ten, so Vinicius unanimous unanimous second. Third, sixteen. So it's not unanimous that he got third. Somebody yeah. thinks he should have gotten fourth. Um, same thing with fourth, nineteen. So somebody thinks that Kyron should have gotten third. One of the judges thinks he should have gotten third. Um, so that's what that means. And then let's see, that's men's wheelchair. Where's, where's your name stuff? I don't see it. Uh, you can see it. Uh, Jose Fabiano. That's, uh, that's my stage name. It's your alter ego. I'm from Brazil. 
Yeah, this is day two. Here's day one. So like real quick, we'll go through classic. There we go. Okay, classic. So first, so Wesley Visser has got seven points. So, it so wasn't two unanimous. of the judges thought he got second out of the That's five. That's interesting. So, yeah, so three Ramon judges lost felt by he got one point. first. Yep, yep. So it's not as it's not as unanimous as others. Um, and then Urs got third, but somebody thinks that he should have gotten fourth. Um, saving with Breon. Somebody thinks that Breon should have gotten third. So this is how this, the judging works. Um, same with Kendall Richmond. Kendall Richmond. Somebody thinks that he should have gotten ninth versus tenth. Um, same with Eric Brown. Eric Brown. Somebody thinks that he should have gotten tenth instead of ninth. So this classic physique is actually a lot more nuanced here. Like. No one, very few people scores is actually like unanimous. Mm -hmm. Damian Patrick was unanimous. Everybody thinks that he should have gotten sixth. Same thing with uh, Darren Farrell and um, Emmanuel Riccati, um, Michael DeBool. But everybody else, you know, it's like four or five that are unanimous. The rest of them aren't. So it was interesting to see um, that Ramon lost by a point. I didn't know that. Yep. And he got Just best one posing, point. so... Yeah, that I mean that helps with just some like cash, I think, right? Isn't that yeah, the prize for 10 that? Ten grand. Yeah, yeah. So I mean that's good, but um yeah, Wesley just won by a point. Hey, I mean winning's still winning. Yep. You know, I mean an extra ju one judge thought that he should have placed higher than Ramon, so that's that's what happens. That's how it goes. <laughs> you win you you uh what what is it? Uh um, oh my gosh, if you ain't first, you're last. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't think of that for a second. And there's also the one from Fast and Furious. He's like, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning's winning. Oh, I thought you were going to say. Even though they're racing in a quarter mile drag. I was going to say, I thought you were going to say, family's everything. <laughs> family's everything. Um, but yeah, so that's the Arnold for you, the guys this year. Um, we'll be up next weekend with me um, talking about the seminar, what I learned. Um, when I go out there today, it's taking place at noon today. So looking forward to that. But we do appreciate you guys listening to our thoughts on the Arnold and um, the next show we'll probably review is the Olympia in October again. So <laughs> um, be a while for another show review. We might mm -hmm. do a smattering in here and there, like maybe like a few different pro shows or something. Like if someone that's popular competes or something, see how he looks or whatever. But besides that, we'll pick up to our normal routine after this weekend and we'll see you guys next weekend. Cool. All right. We'll see you guys. Peace.